Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today I'll be having a look at a very nice bit of kit indeed. It is, of course, the Nintendo Game Boy Player for the Nintendo GameCube. Now, this little box of magic just sits underneath your GameCube and enables you to play any of your Game Boy games on the big screen by inserting one of your carts into this slot here. But what's more is that you can also control any of your games via a Nintendo Game Boy Advance or Advance SP as you can see here. Now all you need is one of those. This is the Game Boy Advance cable and it just sits in one end of your Game Boy Advance and the other into a controller port on your Nintendo GameCube. So I'll be showing you that shortly. So the initial setup, quite easy really. Make sure no other peripherals are attached and all you do, if you see here, you can see this slot here this allows the Game Boy Player to communicate with the GameCube. So that slots in there. Now on the base of the system itself there are two screws. You can see one of them there and there's the other one, the big shiny silver screws. So if we pop that down, let's get our GameCube here and it just sits on top. It's not, you don't need to push it down, it just does it all for you, it just sits there nice and easily. So, once it's sat in place, spin it over and use a knife or screwdriver or something and just tighten these two screws so it won't pop out. And that's about all there is to it. Now, what games can you play with your Game Boy Player? Well, I've so far tested Game Boy Advance games such as Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. That plays absolutely phenomenal. Um, you can play Game Boy Original games as well. You can play Game Boy Color games. And an added bonus is that with this cable here, you can play two player. Now, the way that it works, by plugging this into the second controller port, you can quite easily play one screen on the Game Boy Advance and one player can play on your TV. Now, in order to unlock entire games, for example, Super Mario Kart, uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Now, if you look on the back here, it does say link up play. Um, if you read the instructions, with one cartridge only, so um, if you inserted this cartridge into your Game Boy Player, two players could play, but only on limited laps with, I think it's different colored Yoshis only. That's the only multiplayer you will get. However, if you insert a second cartridge into your Game Boy Advance, which for the record, this SP has been modded to sort of be the TGS green and black colors. Um, that's a little mod I did myself very nice finish there sort of metallic green um, yeah so if you insert a second cartridge you will unlock the full multiplayer game and that works with any of the games so some great multiplayer games such as Street Fighter Alpha 3 you see the graphics there absolutely stunning game um, there's all kinds of fun games to be had if you've got a nice Game Boy Advance or Game Boy collection knocking around definitely pick up one of these Here's another game with Link enabled, and this is Final Fight 1. Um, great little port of Final Fight, really, really like it. 
more games which take advantage of the big screen over the little screen. Although, um, to be fair, this modded Game Boy Advance is actually a backlit screen. I put a backlit screen in there. Um, so it's ultra bright. I don't know if you can see this. Hang on. There you go. Ultra, ultra bright. As opposed to the front lit screens um, that most Game Boy Advance SPs come with. So very happy about that. But this game, Gunstar Heroes, uh, Gunstar Future Heroes, looks absolutely amazing on the full screen. So I think we should go and get this set up and run through a bit of gameplay. Um, basically, all we're going to do, we're just going to insert the wires as per normal. Um, that into your TV, power cable. That's it. There will be a controller, regular GameCube controller in port one and in port two. I will use the Game Boy Advance SP and I'll probably be using that to control player one. Um, you can also have your memory cards, save all your games and that's about all there is to it. If you do want to hook up a Game Boy Advance to your system I shall just run you through that quickly. So let's grab our cable out of the box. I'll just run you through the setup very quickly. It's very, very easy indeed. Grab your cable. There you go. Nice purple one. We've got a few of these lying around. So, excuse me. Here is your SP, you can use a regular Game Boy Advance as well, and literally just match up this to the back. So that just slots in there. It's a really tight fit, so just pop it in. That might be the casing I've got on this Advance. So that is there, that's all connected. Get the other end, it's a nice generous length of cable as well, so you'll be able to sit at ease. There you go, there's port number two, straight in. Straight in to there. There you go. Simple as that. I now have a second controller. Right, the final bit of information I give you before um, we spin through some gameplay, and this is the most crucial part. If you're thinking of buying yourself uh, a Game Boy player for your Nintendo GameCube, you will often find them sold. Um, okay, they're, they're quite expensive, but this will not work without this. This is the startup disc and is crucial. Okay, so what you need to do when buying one of these, get yourself the disc, make sure the disc works. You then insert the disc into your system. Now the system can be on, um, let me just grab this one-handed. Open up the console. You pop your disc in. Close that. Let me just grab an advanced game. One second. Okay, I shall grab Final Fight. So, grab your game. Game goes face down. Slot it into the machine. And then should just click in place. Really having trouble one handed. Let me just pop this down. Nice tight fit. And then you can power up your system. But remember as I said before, this will not work without this. Okay, so here we are at the main menu of the Nintendo GameCube so I'm just going to shut the lid and let the GameCube player disc fire up so here it comes Game Boy Player 2003 Nintendo now I've got my game in already and it's Super Mario Kart uh, or Mario Kart Super Circuit so press start to begin in we go there it is Okay, so there's a number of options here. Um, if I press Z, you can change the game pack. 
Um, full screen, normal screen. There are your two options here. So we'll have full screen. Select controller type. There's your buttons. So I believe that's what I want. Oh, I don't know. Um, sharp, soft, or normal. Let's go normal. And there we go. So let's press Z to get out of here. And just to show you it working and the fact that multiplayer is working, um, I'm going to start a single game up. Now, I'm just going to use the Game Boy Advance SP to control this so it feels a bit more natural. So let's just chuck it on 150cc. Now I won't be playing a lot of this game, uh, it's just a demonstration um, and we'll spin through a few types of Game Boy games. So this of course is a Game Boy Advance game and one of my favourites. We've covered it before on the channel, but it's uh, not been covered on the GameCube. Oh, that was terrible. So, just, it acts exactly like normal. It looks really great on the telly. Really good resolution, seeing as it's a tiny little game scaled right up. Um, you have got your filters, so if it's not to your liking, you can change it. Uh, but all looks good so there is a Game Boy Advance game now let's have a look at something else so let's pause this press the Z button and let's change the game pack do you want to quit the game yes so it makes it nice and easy so let's change the game pack so I'm just gonna take out Mario Kart Super Circuit and let's try putting it in Super Mario Land six golden coins an original Game Boy game so that just slots in nicely and here we go there it is and you can see it's applied some color palettes so you can see I've played this before Right, there you go, looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's see what options we've got. If I just press start, can we scale it up? Let's have a look. Okay, there's normal, there's full. So that's that's the most you're gonna get. So that's not too bad. So um, let's unpause this. Beautiful. It's, it's applied quite a nice uh, colour scheme to the Game Boy original game. It's obviously not full colour because it wasn't written in full colour, but it's uh, it's good enough. Let me dodge this little uh, thing. Right, now... can't remember how to play this. It's been a while. Okay, jump. Yeah, avoid all that. Watch out for the little boot. There we go, that's a Game Boy original game being played on a huge 46 inch TV at the moment. So, not too bad at all. Let's, uh, let's switch out, let's look at something else. Changing my game pack. Uh, do I want to continue? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Now I haven't tried a Game Boy Color game before, um, so I will in just a second. Let's have a quick look at an absolute classic Game Boy original game. And here it is. That's right, it's The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, probably my favorite Game Boy original, as you can see favorite Game Boy original game ever. Absolutely stunning. Um, can't remember what bit I'm up to at the moment. Let's... I swear I've got a... 
I've got something like, um, what have I got? Something to move these rocks. Really can't remember. It's been absolutely ages. Can't jump over rocks. Let's go back in the house. Ah, oh, what's he doing? He's having a snooze. There we go. Right. So, there you go. I haven't unlocked too much of this map. But that is another classic game being played nicely. So let's go and swap the game cartridge. And no, I don't want to save. So let's try a Game Boy Color. We're going to be playing uh, Wario Land 3. In it goes. Look at that. Okay, so this is a Game Boy Color game, um, Wario Land 3, being played, obviously, on, on the TV. It looks absolutely lovely. Where am I going? Peaceful Village. Ah! You swine! Such a bully. It looks like Pikachu I was just beating up. Wouldn't expect anything less from Wario. Oh, looks like the zombies are after him. Hmm. I don't know where to go. Oh dear, I've been slimed by a zombie. Try and grab that key. There we go. Lovely. So let's have a look at one more Game Boy Advance game. Let's press the Z button, change game packs. It's really simple to do. Um, yeah, these systems are quite expensive, but I think you'll find they are definitely, definitely worth it. As you can see from the quality here. All those Game Boy carts that are lying around your house. Um, yeah. Getting some good use on your TV in multiplayer. Okay. Look at this. Right, I am playing Final Fight 1. A Game Boy Advance game on my TV. Bosh. Absolutely classic addition to the Final Fight series. Come here, you sod. Bread. Oh. oh dear, oh dear. Hagar. You silly boy. I think we'll leave it there. That is just a quick look at the Game Boy uh, Game Boy Player for the Nintendo GameCube, enabling you to play all your favourite Game Boy games, Game Boy Original, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance on your television in full glory. So until next time, 
see you later.